the most important thing I, I think that I want to sh share with my fellow learners who are going to do the PhD program um, would be to well, just to appreciate the fact that one of the beauty, one of the the, 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 the great things about this uh, PhD program is is distance learning and component, whereby you can still continue to practice uh, in your area, be it uh, family medicine, family practice, or if you're teaching, you're still able to, to uh, continue to do that while you're still doing the PhD program. You can do it part-time if you want to do it more slowly, you can do it full-time if you can afford the time to do be more dedicated towards the, 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 the learning, um, but for the on for the distance learning program to work, you're going to have to play a part. You're going to have to do the assigned readings. You're going to have to participate in the online discussions. I think um, the, the 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 learning you get out of the process of through the online discussions, uh, which is a major part of this of this um, program, actually hinges on whether you do your readings think about it, reflect about it, and participate actively in the discussions online. And I, I generally find that uh, the, the more um, participation and, and, and involvement of your fellow peers in the online discussions, the richer the discussions, the greater the learning. So um, I think that's the, one of the key things I think I would want my, I, I would think uh, people, uh, students entering the program should, should keep in mind.